Hello and welcome to Visa Port Educational Videos by Ahsan Ahmed. This is a series of lessons for O-Levels Physics and the course code is 5054. Today our lesson is about topic number 7 which is pressure and this is part 4. In part 4 lesson we will be looking at the learning objectives which are based upon these nine learning objectives given by CIE under the topic pressure. Among these learning outcomes, the only learning outcome we will be looking at is G. That is describe and explain the transmission of pressure in hydraulic systems with particular reference to the hydraulic press and hydraulic brakes on vehicles. Before we start understanding about the hydraulic systems, it is a good idea to quickly review from pressure part 1 video, pressure formula rearrangements. As we learned in part 1 that to calculate pressure in solids, the formula we have is pressure is equals to force upon area. And if we want to calculate the area or force, we can simply rearrange this formula to get area and force. Now, once we have understood that how we can calculate these three values, since these three values are very important in application of hydraulic systems. So let's look into the hydraulic systems. So the very first thing we will be looking at is the hydraulic system itself. And to understand this, we have the example of hydraulic jack. Now, as you can see here, we have a picture of a hydraulic jack where on the left hand side, you can see input piston. On the right, we have output piston. And it is very clear that input piston has smaller area as compared to output piston. Now, once we apply the input force at the input piston, we will get an output force on the other end. Now, if you look at the font size, the one in the pink, let me quickly choose my highlighter before I go further. So, yes. So, if I quickly select or highlight this part, this force area, it has the small font size as compared to this force over here, this output force. And the reason is because the input force is the small force or small amount of force which we applied and in result we are getting a huge or big amount of force at the output piston. And this is the very reason that this hydraulic jack or hydraulic system is also known as force multiplier. Now how this magic happens we need to understand it mathematically. Now. If we look at the same hydraulic jack and start putting in mathematical values, so imagine a hypothetical value that if the input piston area is 0.01 meter square. On the other side, the area of output piston, which is larger as compared to the input piston, is 0.1 meter square. Now, if I am applying the force of 50 Newton at input piston. So imagine what would happen. Using these two values, the force and the area, we can calculate the amount of pressure that we will get at this point. So that value will be 5000 Pascals. Now as we can see that this pressure will transfer through the liquid from this pipe and it will travel to the other end. Now the same amount of pressure which is 5000 pascals will put this pressure onto the output piston and due to this pressure we will receive an output force on the piston which is this. Now, how much that force will be, we can simply apply our values here. So, to calculate force, which we will get at the output piston area is pressure 
into the area. So as we know that the pressure value we have is 5000 pascals and the area output piston area we have is 0 0.1 meter square. Now simply multiplying this we get our answer which is 500 newtons. So yes this is how the magic works. With application of 50 newton force we are getting 10 times larger amount of force at the output piston. And that is why we called it force multiplier. Now let's move to the formula which we usually use in hydraulic jack. And this is the formula which helps us to find out one value if three other values are given in this equation. So it is output piston area divided by input piston area is equals to output force divided by input force. In other words, the ratio between output area and input area should be same to the ratio between output force and input force. Now is the time to look at the hydraulic press, which is the application of hydraulic system. Understanding hydraulic press can be in different ways, but the easiest one would be if we use the same idea of hydraulic jack. In this, if we simply add a very hard metal sheet, a very hard metal plate, which should be heavier than the car, obviously, should be fixed on the upper side. And now, if we are applying input force at the input piston, it will result giving us an output force at the output piston which will lift up the car and will be pressed in between metal hard sheet and output piston. So this is the very basic idea we use in hydraulic press to press or squash or compress any material in between. Now let's see how does hydraulic brake in vehicles work. Hydraulic brakes use the same idea of hydraulic systems and this is an animation which you can see how this whole process works. So imagine on the right hand side of this animation I have just highlighted the push rod or the pedal. So imagine if you are applying force from here from the pedal part and you are pushing your foot on the pedal due to that amount of force you are applying there will be pressure through the solid which will then transfer into the liquid and you can see these hydraulic lines over here these lines uh, from here the liquid will take on the pressure and flow to the other end till they reach the brake caliper pistons now in hydraulic jack we saw that there was one piston but it can be multiple pistons here like here we have. Now these both calipers or the pistons will be pushed through this liquid or this pressure coming from the liquid and they will help us stopping the brake disc. And once they stop the brake disc which is connected to the wheel, the wheel automatically stops as well which is very efficient way in terms of applying brakes. This is all for this learning outcome and in the end I would like to give credit for royalty free images and animations. This is the first image I used and this is the second animation. The first one was by Olivia Clayton under common creative license from wikimedia.org and the second one was by KDS444, again by Common Creative License from Wikimedia.org. I really appreciate their effort, so they have put this free resource available for us to put in for educational videos and resources. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe our channel and have a nice day.